my goodness. Good morning. It is another beautiful sunny morning in South Florida once again. And excuse me, I don't look the greatest right now. My voice is not 100%. I just woke up about maybe 20 minutes ago, got dressed. I'm drinking the uh, Celsius. No, I'm not sponsored by them. I was letting you know it's a good ass energy drink. You should try it out if you haven't. Last time was 4th of July weekend. We're here this time because we're getting something done to the Stinger, which I've been anticipating to do on pretty much any vehicle I've owned since I've known about ceramic coating. So yes, you guessed it. We're getting this thing in ceramic coated today. I'm on the way to the shop there right now. I haven't had any breakfast yet. Hopefully I can find something on the way. And uh, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Uh, make sure you guys uh, check these guys out. Exotic Auto Spa. They used to live uh, in Central Florida where I'm from, which is, you know, Kissimmee, Orlando area. They used to live up there. But of course, you, you know, you, you do nothing but top level luxury and, and exotic cars you got to go through all these other stuff is that and that's down here in miami baby so that's what that's that's where he had to go and get his money so i had to come out to fall i'd fall down here and get the work done and for the price he's doing it for I, I, I was not gonna gonna say no so that being said make sure you guys drop a big thumbs up on this video greatly would appreciate you guys following along subscribe if you guys are new and uh enjoy the video one hour later Oh man, got belly in here and everything. Oh, that's clean. That's fresh. Yeah, this looks good. That's a nice color too. That's, that's the original color. Oh, oh, maybe it is. I mean, probably probably original color, but it got repainted. Yeah. You gotta detail that? Ah, oh, man, that sucks. Okay. All right, Jay, you on my vlog now, so go ahead and introduce yourself, my brother. What's going on, man? It's Jay with Exotic Auto Spa, man. I'm here to take care of my brother Stinger. My brother called me all the way from Orlando. It was like, you know, Jay, you know, I, I need you to get busy, man. And I say, yo, come on down. We're gonna take care of you. So today we're gonna perform a light paint correction because the vehicle is pretty new. So we're gonna perform a light paint correction, make sure there's no blemishes, make sure the car is decontaminated, make sure it's already coated. And um, that's what we're gonna perform today. We're gonna steam it with the Lamborghini machine, uh, the Forte, the powered by Lamborghini, and to get all the bugs and to get everything off, instead of scrubbing it off, we're gonna steam it off. Oh yeah, make sure uh Make that clear. He said a Lamborghini steamer. Y'all see that, right? This man does not play any games, man. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make sure this car gets back home. Look great. All right. That's how they go to the spot stay tuned. Yes, sir. So I said, come on, let's go. Ain't no friendly. Ain't no friendly business. Yeah. Great steam. We got the van. I got the machine. We're going to go. Yeah. That literally looks like a, like a, 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 like a legitimate Lamborghini closet, like straight out of, out of the vehicle. This thing, there's a hood. Yeah. Open forward, you see the Lamborghini motor. <laughs> Can't wait to see that, man. So we're building bars right now. Right now we're building bars. This is a 20 bar. You can see it here. I don't know if you can see it right here. So it's a 20 bar. So as you can see, it's at 19. This is detergent one, detergent two, has two separate detergents. We could also do wet steam, dry steam. And we could also do uh, the wet app, no, I mean detergent and steam, sorry. So this is detergent and steam, this is wet steam. Detergent one, two, got water, and these, it runs on diesel. Oh wow, the Lamborghini machine that runs on diesel. <laughs> That's different. Alright. All right. Well I'm ready man. I'm ready to see the, the process unfold man. You guys are gonna see everything on camera. I'm gonna record as much of this as, as possible. So let's do like a quick little before 
Obviously, the whole bunch of buck stains on the front of the car right now because I just drove down from uh, Orlando last night. But yeah, but yeah, we're going to just do a quick walk around. You guys can see it. And believe it or not, brand new cars do need paint correction because a, a lot of cars still come with orange peel. I mean, that's something that that's a normal thing. But once you once you get all paint corrected, you get you know like a light little wet sand and buff. All the orange peel will come out of the paint. It'll be super clean and glossy, and, and actually look like how it's supposed to look out the showroom. I know it's not the best lighting in here. As you see, there's like little glares everywhere. So I'm gonna try work out the little angles in here. But you guys heard the man. Full detail, full ceramic coating coming up. Stay tuned. Enjoy the video. I'm gonna do as much B-roll as possible. There's probably not gonna be much much dialogue, but just watch everything and just enjoy. I got, I got one thing for you. So they asked, why Steve? Why Steve? Okay. Versus water. See these bugs here? Yeah. So people wonder why they get squirrel marks in their vehicle. So now in order to remove those bugs, you think that your head is soaked with water and we have to scrub them off. And that's the way you create squirrel marks in your paint. The reason why we choose steam and the Lamborghini is because it has a PSI of 250 and it also has steam. So I'm not scrubbing anything in the paint. I'm removing it by PSI and steam. It comes right off. Stay tuned. All right. So I got a question for you, Jay. I know a lot of people tend to use dryer sheets and little detergents and whatnot because that's like an easier, safer way that people feel that it is better to remove bug stains. Can you, can you mind explaining to people why that's not really a great idea? Well, it's not a great idea because everything that you rub on a car is as light as it can be, it's still an abrasive. Okay. It's like when people say, oh, this is smooth. And when they pass their fingers to the car, they're not realizing that they cause a lot of little tracks because our hands are abrasive. The good thing about it is that you're not even gonna have to worry about that no more because you're ceramic coated. So the blood, the blood is just gonna hit on there and just bounce right over. Alright. That's the good part of having ceramic coating. And if they do stick on there, once you put a hold on there, it's just gonna it's gonna come right off because the ceramic coating creates a barrier around the vehicle. So when the bug hits, it's gonna hit the barrier, it's not gonna touch the paint. Okay. So it's kinda like creating like a like an electric fence in a way. You know, you know, you know, you know, you touch your electric fence, and you know, you get shocked and you bounce off of it. Okay. We already built up to 20. We're ready to go. This All right. All ready to go, and we're ready to start working. All right. I'm ready. I'm ready for this, man. Stay tuned, everybody. This is gonna be one hell of a video, so I hope you guys are ready. Yeah, I know you saw this in the background, but this is a Durango Hellcat. This is my first time actually seeing one up close in, per up close in person. I'm gonna tell you what, man. This is a beautiful, beautiful SUV. I love the color of it. So overall, man, this is a beautiful vehicle. It's a shame they stopped making this thing, man. I'm pretty sure these have already skyrocketed in value. But yeah, man, this is like a real nice opportunity to come to a place like this and just really just see top level vehicles. I'm not gonna get the lights put on camera. But uh, yeah, man, this is uh, this is an exciting experience for me, man. Oh yeah, just so you don't get it messed up, this really is a Hellcat. <laughs> oh man.
All right, took a little break from the filming because I had to go get some breakfast. But uh, what we doing now, Jay? What we got going on right here? I see you taping off some areas now. We're taping off all the rubber pieces. So I'm going to polish. I don't leave any residue off. on these black rubber pieces because when you get residue on them, it's just hard to come off. So no. I'd rather protect them and not get anything on them. Keep them fresh and black and gray. All right. The rubber yeah. parts. That's a fact, because I've, I've, I've waxed a car before and I've got it on there, and it never looked the same after that. Nah, it won't, because then when you have to scrub it off and try to take it off, it's, it's going to be a problem. Yeah, and all that back-to-black stuff that they sell, like in stores or whatever? Back-to-black stuff is a temporary thing. Yeah, exactly. Even taping off the visors, oh shit. Yeah, this man definitely means business. He, he doing, he, he's, see, this is how you know you got a really good detailer. They're paying key attention to details to make sure it is done right and as my boy Rob says do it once and do it right can we agree? do it once you don't have to do it again there you go right there you go a lot of people do cut corners bro I've done it myself bro but that's just say hey, that's just part of growing up man you yeah not, not at all no one's perfect man everybody Cuts corners and make mistakes and they learn and then they just try to cut a corner to make sure you can cover your tracks. Yeah. You cut a corner. You gotta make sure you cover your tracks. That's right. Alright, now we got the car inside the shop. Looks like he's doing some buffing right here. Paying very, very close attention to detail, as, as I said earlier. Polishing the lip up real good. You already did like the left side of the bumper already in the headlights. too much. Less is more. The whole patch side of the car has tape over the visors, over the trims for the windows. Preparing for the, the polish and the rest of the ceramic coating preparation process. Take a drill bit and just drill into those little holes and make them functional. I'm pretty sure it's possible, but I gotta do it precisely. Man, the hood looks like glass. The rest of the car is gonna look like that. Jesus. I've seen my mirror 
this clean and shiny since the day it rolled off the lot. Oh my goodness. Damn. I can literally see myself in it. Water test. <laughs> this runs right off. All right, y'all, fast forward two days. Today's now Sunday, I'm here taking delivery of my car after it's been surrounded court I've been sitting here cured for the next two days so here goes my reaction right now I walk into the shop open up the garage shout out to my boy Rob Chinese boy should you follow him on Instagram oh my god oh my goodness Oh man, this looks incredible. Thank you very, very much. Wow. This looks beautiful. This doesn't even look at, look at the same car anymore. <laughs> it looks like I, I went right, right back to the dealership and bought another one. this thing is, man. Wow. <laughs> it's time to do a cold start, even though it's quiet as all hell. Those CK-71s. Yeah, I gotta see how it looks in the daylight now. Oh, you, got... you, you did the inside too? Did you? I don't know. Now I'm looking at this thing in the daylight, man. This is freaking amazing. Like, I know on camera, it's not really going to be as easy to, to, to tell the, the clarity, but you guys already have an idea. I mean, you saw my reaction. I really didn't have much to say because I'm just like stunned just how good it looks. But yeah, this is the work of Exotic Auto Spa down here in South Florida, Merrimar to be exact. So I gotta kind of come around this way. It looks so good, man. It looks amazing. And here we are now back at the Exotic Crib. Checking out the car once again, man. I'm just astounded man i'm 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 damn near speechless this looks fantastic and it's ceramic coated so really with the you know really, really the, the biggest benefit of ceramic coating is that it pretty much just puts a barrier around the car when it comes to to water and dirt and stuff like that it just pretty much like repels it so i'm gonna get a i'm gonna get a little, little bottle of water and test it out real quick all right jay if you could do the honors please demonstrate the water test why we're doing the water test because part of the ceramic coating is super hydrophobic it's designed for you not to receive any water marks especially like overnight when you get uh moisture from nighttime and you wake up and there's water marks in your car you drive off sun comes out it dries it well, this is designed not to do it so like any water that gets on there it's just gonna be right off just like that it's not gonna stand there and anything that stays there it's just gonna it's gonna when you drive off, it's gonna come right off. You see how they stay on top? Mm-hmm. To the beach right there. Even the windshield, look at that. It's 
runs right off. Damn. <laughs> he, just threw it, he just threw it against the car. <laughs> and as soon as I drop off, that's gonna just like a like 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 a like a vacuum, I guess you could say. Or like a leaf blower. Mm -hmm. Also, it just look. So hydrophobic that you can just dry it so easy. Nice and quick, man. You ain't taking no effort to it. That's it. Sleepy is the drive effortlessly.